Hi, I'm Julie Johnson. Huub Bolshein. Bels Bolshein. Francesco Wernery. My name is Beryl. Marcel van der Klink. I'm Lucy. I'm Lucy Piedenborg. Carola Revo. Claudia Stoyanov. Gunnar Lea. Maria Blink. The overall objective of the handover project is to optimize the continuum of clinical care at the primary care hospital interface. The goal is to reduce unnecessary and avoidable treatment, medical errors and loss of life by identifying the best practices and creating standardized approaches to handoff communication at the primary care hospital interface. Handoffs take as many forms as there are handoff scenarios. The idea of developing a single approach for all handoffs is not likely to be possible due to the diversity and complexity of healthcare. Therefore, we developed the handover toolbox, which provides standardized basic elements and handoff processes and for handover trainings, which can be tailored to meet local and institutional needs for flexibility. In the handover toolbox, you can find certified content regarding the effects of handover tools and community-based content from a large diversity of special interest groups around the handover topic. You can join these groups to discuss with other experts or create an own group for your students or colleagues to exchange best practice experiences to improve the continuum of clinical care in your organization. I know how often the handover process failed. Uh, because communication does not happen in vacuum. Communication always happens into a context. Very optimistically, they indicated that a 25% reduction can be achieved. But in order to achieve this, uh, there is the need that everybody, every one of you, uses the toolbox. The NIHS has now provided us with the tool to give vignettes, case stories from patients, doctors, and other healthcare personnel. To provide feedback when something is not going very well, or something is going very well, needs to be addressed. A lot of our early work was focused on understanding the process. There is a place for formal training, an important place for formal training, but it isn't sufficient to do only that. In the toolbox you find all kinds of materials you can use for designing your own training. Our challenge is, is to try to, to build a unique uh, patient center system. My uh, father was admitted uh, two years ago four times in hospital. I saw many problems with the handover. I'm uh, really interested in videotaping as a means to improve practice. It's really important because it gives you the possibility as a practitioner or as a physician to contribute and to give your own point of view uh, regarding your specific context, regarding your specific activity. So there are really different uh, ideas about what we should deliver for the training and handover. And then we did a careful um, interview and expert statements collection and cluster these expert. So what would make a real change for handover procedures in the hospital? Well-functioning teams, well-trained teams are the teams that uh, make fewer mistakes. After you have seen the patient, together with the patient, uh, you make a small report on what has been found and what has to be done. Uh, to building up shared knowledge on how to improve handover training. In the handover toolbox we have multiple tools and guidelines and checklists that can help both patients and healthcare professionals. So on the toolbox you'll actually be able to find resources for looking at your own process and tutorials about how you would go in and look at the, the process of handover. Uh, I think that toolbox can, can uh, support this. I think we should talk about uh, flat healthcare networks. How to get a success of this project? That toolbox should facilitate informal learning and of course to the degree that it succeeds uh, in doing so it is successful. The first results from the empirical uh, evaluation of the handover toolbox with real users, uh, both healthcare training specialists um, and medical professionals are quite promising. We loved working together and now we're still working on the toolbox and we still have lots of fun. So good luck to you and if you have any questions please let me know.